Fat Michael is intriguing. He's round like Alfred Hitchcock and without question ingenious like him as well. Fat Michael. Oh, that's my dude right there. You know what I'm saying? That's the man that's going to eat all your burgers, eat all your fries, but he's going to make sure you get something before you do it. Need counsel? One call, that's all. Fat Michael, marriage counselor. Something going on between your marriage? Sex ain't unbalanced? One call, that's all. From Fat Michael, marriage counselor. Fat Michael is a person who, when you get around him, his energy just lifts your energy up. Even if you are having a bad day, he just brings a smile to your face, whatever you're trying to do. And who? <laughs> is that a creepy dude who like walks around the hallway? Yeah, the creepy dude who walks down the hallway. You want him? Fat Michael? Here, student at uh, ICB, Illinois Center for Broadcasting. We're broadcasting with careers with you. And right now we're in the administrative office where things go down and the big stuff goes down. You understand me? See? That's how they do it. Stay big. When I think of Fat Michael, I think of humor. I think of laughter. Fat Michael is a very inspirational person to me. Um, Fat Michael is a guy who I met at ICB who, um, <laughs> Fat Michael is a comedian. That's who Fat Michael is. He keeps us rolling, laughing. Um, he brings the fat people jokes and that Southern flavor that a lot of people, you know, up here north in Chicago don't have. Oh, man. I want to know who Fat Michael is. He's an entertainer. <laughs> a comedian. Weird. Um, Fat Mike is actual a uh, great guy. He works with me. He's actually a uh, graduate assistant here at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. Uh, and he works very hard. And he's a really good friend as well. Oh, Fat Michael. He just be around the school and help everybody. Real fat dude. <laughs> Fat Michael is interesting, uh, intriguing. Fat Michael is very intelligent and extremely smart. It's kind of sexy. You know, it's got some hands-on skills. Fat Michael is a character, a sweetheart. Very, very outspoken individual. Um, very fun and energetic. Rapper, beat maker, all around. Fat people, kind of, kind of sore. A very good videographer and music video producer. Fat Michael was the guy that I met when I first started ICB. Um, I was kind of iffy about him. I thought he was crazy, but he turned out to be really, really cool. Go, he's Mr. Arkansas. That's that's enough said right there. He's a pretty cool guy. He's pretty sleek in his overall uh, demeanor. Fat Michael know has to do everything, from cameras to TV, from you know what to this and that. Oh God, he's crazy. <laughs> he's crazy. He's funny, he's helpful, he's nice, he's kind. Fat Michael is the most awesome person in the entire world. The funniest GA, the craziest GA, probably the only GA who likes to harass me. Who isn't Fat Michael is a better question. Fat Michael is a god among mere mortals. He's more than just a man, he's an artist, an actor, a producer, a poet, a musician. Quite frankly, he's in the air we breathe and the light we see. Fat Michael is nothing short of, well, amazing. Fat Michael is the biggest character at work. This guy is, uh, if you down, it don't matter, you will be up in less than 10 seconds. Fat Mike in the building. What's up, man? Y'all already know. Hey! It's the Fat Mike! Ah.
T Low TV. What's up, man? I appreciate you for having me, man. I just got done doing a little video. She I'm a little sweaty. It smells like outside, outdoors. Appreciate you, T Lo, for having me on your T Lo show. Fat Mike, yo. I don't even gotta speak. That was, that's it. You know how we get it in, man. Let's go get some boo. Two. I'm hungry as Number two, number four, number six. <laughs> Actually, I thought he was a bit of a loud mouth, but uh, then I got to realize actually we're a lot similar in a lot of ways. We both kind of have a class clown thing going. Why is he so loud? Like, chill out, calm down. It'll be okay. What is wrong with this boy? Like, hilarious. He's funny, um, crazy, very outgoing, very outgoing. Who is this, this fat kid with the dreads who always smiling? and can't be serious for nothing. I did not think that he was gonna be one of the best students in my class. And I was wrong. Man, who is this country dude with the hair and bone on? Attention ladies and gentlemen, there's an epidemic that is spreading throughout the world. The epidemic that is obesity is overwhelming many Americans and people all over the world. Some consider this is a handicap, but I like to look on the bright side of things. Fat people are useful in the winter and summertime. We provide heat in the winter and shade in the summer. And we all know the famous saying, more cushion for the pushing. Amen to that. Obesity can be caused by excessive eating, depression, medical conditions, and a number of other reasons. But that's okay because big is beautiful. But if you are trying to lose some of that unnecessary weight, you can visit the nearest plastic surgeon and have it removed. But I have to tell you that you are beautiful the way you are. I'm Fat Mike, and I'm here telling you that being fat is the... More stupid as I am, doesn't care what he says. It's always funny, whatever comes out of his mouth. Just straight scared, man. Uh, I never saw anybody like him before. I never saw anybody act the way he did before. Did you just take something out my bag? What the f*** wrong with you? Oh my God, who is this dude like... I'm just knowing he's gonna have some trouble, just gonna be having me going through something in this building. This man is funny as hell. <laughs> he too silly. I thought he was like the only, he was. He stood out. He was completely different from everybody else. Ah, ah, T-Lo-T, T-Lo-TV, T, T-Lo-TV. <laughs> Ow. No, Ow. Ow. Okay, I'm done. Pretty Ricky in the background. A little hand. <laughs> Damn. I'm just playing with you. What's up with the world? This is my editor. Hey, what's up, man? I got Fat Mike in the building real quick. The first. Fat Mike. What's up, Floyd Cousin? Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. Who's going to win? I'm still going for Floyd. You know what I'm saying? Blow it, Mayweather team, money Mayweather. Man, he gonna whack that at yeah. ah. Boom. Boom. That's how he feel, but that's okay. how I feel, you know what I'm he saying? Ding, ding. In the Ooh, look at the phrase. Oh, ding. Someone who had a terrific ability to be able to get people to laugh, uh, to uh, engage people. Uh, his laugh is infectious. He is loud and obnoxious. Um, but once you, once you get to know Fat Mike, he grows on you. He had this goofy hair, I didn't know what that was, some type of southern thing that we don't do here in Chicago, but, uh, as I got to know him, he was a nice guy, yeah. When I first met him, this man was dancing, and I said, yeah, this, this is gonna be a cool character right here, but man, he'll click, like, right there and there, because he was so cool, he real approachable, and he can be serious, and he can joke at the same time, but it's like, he genuine. Like, you're not gonna ever get another fake from him, that's how I feel about it. He reminded me of the guy in that commercial that drinks the beer from all, all different lands and lives an exciting life. Him and I uh, outside smoking cigarettes during work on a break and uh, just seeing how he reacts to uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I like how we, I like his approach to women. I'm gonna say when we went to Wingstop, uh, was one day for dinner, and he was just cracking jokes on everybody in there, and it was just, uh, it was a fun time. When he be flirting with me. When he makes acronyms out of nothing, B, T, T, A, B, you don't even know what he's talking about, but you do know he's trying to put a smile on your face. 
the dude is hilarious. The first day I met Fat Michael was my favorite Fat Michael moment. Uh, my favorite uh, Fat Mike moment is the, you know. Doing the, the fat guy dance, normally, um, I, I don't know when he does it, but you know, favorite moments, I guess you could say, is, is when he does his, his fat guy dance. Yeah, when we went out um, that night, and we was in the club, and he just got to doing his little thing, just getting it, like what, what. I said, okay, look at him. When we went out, when we went to Roll House 66 from North in Wrigleyville. No, we was in Red Eye, then he uh, cleared the floor and was dancing. Where are we going out? And I said, where are we going? And he said, I'm dinner or movie. What movie? Uh, and I said, I don't like guys who hesitate. When he's like hitting on a chick and he won't stop until he gets what he wants. <laughs> it was when he did my Chipotle commercial. Him and Dave was grubbing. Snacks and things. Snacks and things. Everybody want some snacks and things. It had to be dance competition, straight up. We got Fat Mike and we got Little Man. And uh, I'm gonna say Fat Mike broke it down, man. I, she blew Little Man out of the water. I ain't never seen a big man move like that. So Mike, my little man started challenging him. So Mike get out there and start popping, doing a Dougie and everything and all that. My man started popping his shoulders, moving his legs. My man looked like he was on clouds, glad. There you go, <laughs> that you mean you number one. When he said, look at the moon pass on that guy. <laughs> Every day when he comes up to me and tells me how beautiful I am. When we was hooping, when Fight Mike scored, uh, he went down the uh, court shaking his breasts and all that. That was funny though. He does this thing like, boom, boom, hush, retarded. He's always talking about his titties or eating. He tells me, oh, sexy, how are you? Every moment with Fat Mike's my favorite fat moment. <laughs> Cause, you know what, I, ate, I went to Sharks Club, spent down there $13, <laughs> and it felt like I ate $4 worth of prison. <laughs> 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 Y'all got something else? <laughs> man, man. Cause it's like, I don't know. You don't go first of all? No, I had a little, little, little fish there. I want you to know, no bread, and you give on meat. <laughs> <laughs> little thin strip of meat. I said, come on, what do you see, man? <laughs> Eat my veins, don't get pulled off. <laughs> <laughs> For real, son. <laughs> when I asked him to, uh, did he want to be a part of the radio show on Cloud Nine? With, with me, myself, J Money. And he told me, let's roll, cuz. That's it. At around 8.30 sharp this morning, someone broke into the Royal Pawn Shop at Congress in LaSalle in the Southwest Loop. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I was, I was running late for work today and, and I heard the alarm as I was coming up Clark. The store has security guard, but unfortunately, he didn't start his shift until 9 a.m. Guess we're gonna have to start coming in earlier. Our witnesses called the police. Yeah, I was just standing over there at the train stop, and I looked down off the platform, and I saw this guy throw a cinder block through the window. And then these, they just started floating up a car, and I mean, they just sped off here down Congress. I called the police, I came down off the train stop, but they were already gone by then. The Royal Pawn Shop has offered a reward of $5,000 for any information leading to the arrest of the suspects to the return of the store property. If you have any, any information about it, please call Detective Fed Michael at 312-884-8000. Again, that was 312-884-8000.